Hi guys, Dr. Nicole here. So today we are going to do another part of our Voyage to Vitality series. We are going to talk about bone grafts, okay? We're gonna talk about what they are, what they're made of, and how long it takes to heal. So I'm gonna grab my very nerdy board and we'll talk all about it and we'll go from there. So let's get to it. Okay, so let's talk about a bone graft. Doo -doo -doo -doo, how exciting. Before we talk about a bone graft though, we have to understand why we need it and what it does. So here is my tooth that needs to go to the tooth fairy. There's little angels coming down or fairies coming down as I should say that are going to be taking this away. It's all broken and infection at the end. So when the tooth comes out, there is a hole that is left in the area where it was removed from. This is called an extraction socket. For those who don't care what its real name is, it's a hole, okay? Let's be honest here. So why is this important and why do we need a bone graft? Because what your body will do is it will go in and remove bone from this area and it will replace it and create a divot where the tooth used to be. You'll have less bone in the area and you'll be less likely to be able to do things in the future that you may want. For example, it won't be as nice to have a bridge placed. You won't be able to put an implant in there. There's a variety of different things. If you want to have a partial made, it can be a pain in the neck to have that area replaced. So that's why it's important to try to keep the bone present. Okay, so how do we do that with a bone graft? So what a bone graft is, is it's literally little particles of bone that you take when the tooth, the day the tooth comes out, this happens, you take the little particles and you put them into the hole to fill the space in. What then happens is, is these particles sit there and your body goes, oh my gosh, there's bone, I'm so excited. And it grows and it becomes part of you. It basically builds a little, as I, I like to call it, scaffold for those nerds out there, but it's a little thing that makes your body go, yay, bone, and it bu builds bone all around it and it becomes part of you and keeps as much bone as possible in the area, all right? So a bone graft is basically a way for you to keep as much bone as possible in the area. It's made of human bone and cow bone. Right. What the, what's done is they take the bone, they grind it up, and they remove all of the proteins in it that cause reactions, and they create a powder, and they pack this granulated powder into the extraction area. It looks like Pop Rocks for all of the old nerds out there who are watching this. Not the young people, but the old people who know what Pop Rocks are. They look, it looks like Pop Rocks, and you put that's what's inside, okay? When it's placed in there, it takes about three to four months to heal. All right, why is this important? There's a reason why there is a implant process or a bridge process or a partial process. When you have bone graft placed, your body just doesn't jump in and get excited that it's there. It has to heal itself and it has to grow bone into the area and that takes about three to four months on average, okay? Another important concept is, is that it can reject itself, meaning that your body can have the granules go in, but not grow bone inside it. That's a really bad day, okay? It really is. It doesn't happen very often, but it is something that you need to know that can happen, okay? So it can reject it. The last thing to know about dental implants, or excuse me, dental bone grafts, implants, what am I talking about? bone grafts is that when they're placed your body integrates them that gets all excited it becomes part of you it will resorb away in a year or two okay this is a very important thing to understand it gives you time to have something done in the area but that bone that was put there and your body got happy about and built will not stay there forever so when you have it placed, you only have one to two years to do something with it. It's kind of like a little time gap or a Dutch boy in the dam where until you figure out what you would like to have done in that area. Okay, so it doesn't last forever. It can fail. 
It has a three to four month healing time, okay? It's placed the day the tooth comes out. And basically what it is, is it's something that's put into the hole where the tooth comes out and it causes your body to grow bone inside of it and allows you to keep as much bone there as possible. So if you have any other questions about bone grafts or wanna discuss them further, please feel free to give our office a call, but until then, keep on brushing.